Hey everyone, Matt or at Night Shift Fishing here as you might know me. Uh, one of the requests I've had a lot is about the gear that I carry with me. So I'm here uh, along the side of the canal at a picnic table. I have my surf belt off. It was a fun morning this morning. Uh, I've got a blue on top. Always a fun fight. But uh, I want to take a few minutes and record this video. So uh, we'll start with the belt itself is a Z-Belt. Luke from Z-Belts was uh, nice enough to do a custom size for me because I'm a big guy. Highly recommend you check him out. Uh, great products. If you take care of them, they'll take care of you. Uh, we'll start first with the Boga Grip, standard 60 pound Boga Grip. It's attached with a lanyard by MJV Tackle Solutions. I highly recommend you check out Matt and his products. Um, and it's in a holder actually by my buddy Oski 007 Striper Life. Um, so if you're in need of one of those, check out Oscar. I have the six inch uh, single tube Z bag, and in here uh, you'll see that I have first a glider by Larson Lures. Um, chicken scratch coloration it's obviously seen some fish this year and then i have a whole series of uh, jigs by east end lure co so i carry all the, the main colors in the side pouch here i have green white and pink so i'm always ready to go with my east end lures uh, nothing beats those jigs in the aqua skins pouch uh, we open it up i have the finger guard to start and then here i have a tape measure and individually bagged leaders ready to go all right, so we switch sides. Now we're on my right side, and we'll start kind of at the back as I'd be um, looking at it from my vantage point. We have the Turtle Cove Tackle plier holder in the orange color, um, and then I have some uh, Cast King pliers with the orange. Um, I go through a lot of pliers. I like to have the split ring uh, plier piece at the end, obviously a cutter for the braid and um, I don't believe in uh, fancy and expensive pliers because I go through them quickly so I like those you can get them on Amazon and then in the bag itself on the side pouch again more jigs and I'll just pull these out I kind of have an assortment here um, so we'll have the uh, canal bait and tackle we have the uh, savage sand eel a fish lab that has seen better days but obviously been productive and I always have a spare white East End uh, jig in the white color. On the front of the main bag, I have some individually tied leaders again in this kind of main pocket here. I usually keep a couple of the night shift fishing stickers so that I have some to give away uh, when I meet people. And then in the heart of the bag, I have a, um, a knife again in the orange color. Um, the family special lure which is the uh, four ounce cast master with the white tail um, always have that in there and then we have my favorite magic swimmer in the blue color we have a uh, olive oil left eye lure white left eye lure which has seen some big bass and big blue fish four and a half ounce hybrid popper from Outcast. We have the uh, yellow over white Polaris popper from Outcast. And then finishing out my Outcast tube, if you will, we have the standard pencil in the green mackerel color. So I like to carry an assortment of form factors and colors. When I go in there, I use the three tube dividers. And again, those are by MJV uh, Tackle Solutions. I like to have multiple sizes and styles so that I'm able to uh, cast for distance, cast short and target uh, fish and mimic various types of baits. So that's why I like to have the mix of colors. You never know what's gonna be hitting. Uh, and I like to have an array of them. You know, the go-to, the white left eye. I always have one of those in the bag uh, ready to go. And I always have a spare on hand somewhere. Uh, you can never leave home without it. And then uh, I'll just put these back in here. So you can see that that's mainly what I carry. The, the main part of the bag is essentially for top water. And then I always will have that, that magic swimmer, that large size magic swimmer in there um, so that it's ready to go. And of course the cast master to mimic those peanut bunker and get distance. 
and um, again you know this sea bag obviously it's been through uh, some stuff I had a wipe out uh, about a month or so ago on my bike and uh, the Foga holder that Oscar made me the original one that I had and the tube dividers from MJV tackle solutions really saved me on there because uh, those two things took the brunt of it you can see some of the damage to the uh, bag there but other than that it held up well even with that impact so that's just a look at what I carry um, with me and then I also want to take a look at what I have in the bike basket uh, I have a removable bike basket I like to take it down with me so let's take a look at that so in terms of the basket on my bike as I mentioned it is removable it clips on right here there's a lock that stays on my bike and so when I'm traveling on the bike I can lock it in case I go over bumps it's not going to come off but then I unlock it I grab the uh, handles and it's easy for me to bring down the rocks as an extra um, place to work from and keep my my equipment if you will so let's just take a look at what's here we always start with hand sanitizer in the front and then I am old school I have all my licenses here um, I keep my fresh water my salt water and of course my uh, clamming license uh, on there so then in the main part uh, this little bag I keep my batteries for the GoPro uh, so that's pretty straightforward a pair of sunglasses from Shady Rays a little tripod for the GoPro in case I need it Some snack crackers paper towels depending on what I'm doing got to have stickers in case I uh, see anybody that doesn't have one on their canal bike like to spread those around we have the chest mount for the GoPro. Uh, it's easy if I want to put it on and not have to worry about uh, moving moving around the tripods. A couple of clementines, again, as a snack. We have a headlamp. This is a uh, black diamond rechargeable headlamp. It's held up pretty well this season. It, it does have a couple of scars on it. Another, another clementine and then some super glue, especially this time of year with the blues. As we get into late summer and early fall, those bluefish uh, will wreak havoc on your plastic tails. So we always keep that going. And then we have a couple of sets of lures and oh, bug spray. Can never forget the bug spray. Uh, so we'll start with the uh, soft plastics, the jigs. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of the East End Lure Co. What Tyler does. So again, another standard green. We have another Savage Sand Eel. This is kind of a hybrid that I put together for the bluefish and al gag tail on an east end head with a little zip tie. Um, we have the Wacky Mac East End Lure Co. We have a green fish lab, a white fish lab. We have a Wacky Mac canal bait and tackle. And then in the last tube here, we have the pink glow East End Lure. We have a purple fish lab. Those have been doing extremely well this year. Um, and then the blue fish lab. And so I keep those jigs in a, a three set of tubes. And then in this other set, I have uh, this Polaris popper style left eye lure that uh, Relio made for me. Um, in that same tube, I keep one of the uh, bone color rockets, the heavy size, in case I need a rocket. An old reliable, a left eye lure old school wacky mac top water pencil then i have a hybrid popper outcast yellow over white in the small size i call it the small size we have a jumble of things in this last tube but we'll start with the yozuri twitch bait uh, these work good in the rips along the side of the canal we have the another old reliable SP minnow in the 17F size, the floating um, in the bone color. And then we have a, um, a small size 190 fast sink magic swimmer with just a little tail. I like to uh, rig these as you saw the blue one in my uh, Z bag. I like to rig those with just one treble hook. Because of this motion, you hook into a striper or a bluefish, uh, they'll kick around a lot and you want to make sure you're not going to take a hook in the hand. This is a brand new Wacky Mac. Um, outcast hybrid pencil I haven't even thrown that one yet and then I always have a long caster green mackerel uh, from outcast this of course is what I have my personal best on 49 inches that I caught earlier this year so that's just a little look at what I carry around with me at the canal uh, hope that helps